Well, hello and welcome to this week's exciting episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel. Thank you so much for your time, for tuning into our show today. And we really think that that time is being well spent as we have a great show lined up for you today. We always feel very fortunate and lucky to have important industry guests join us for a question and answer segment, and even more fortunate to have one return for a second visit, as is the case today with Guillaume Cameron, Strategic Account Manager at Oceana Cruises. Guillaume first joined us a little over a year ago. It was one of our top shows, and we're excited to have him join us yet again for an exclusive chat that's going to kick off here in just a moment. We're going to be skipping our normal eye on the industry feature today so that we can spend more quality time with our guests. I mean, we have to talk some hockey on top of our conversation about the latest and all the great updates on Oceana. So we're going to make sure we wrap up our show, though, with exciting information on our current promotions, the flash sale going on with the travel agent education powered by Avoya platform, best-in-class resources offered to the Avoya network exclusively, our social media contacts so you never miss a beat, and of course, all the ways that you can, you know, our most important part of the show is you anyway. So we want you to be able to easily reach out and start the process to become part of the number one network in leisure travel, the Avoya Travel Network. So with that said, I think it's time to jump right into our weekly Q&A. Starting tomorrow, Avoya Travel will host our top producers for the first ever Avoya Travel Million Dollar Showcase. It is the highlight of the start of our national conference that kicks off Sunday. And many of the industry's top brands will be on hand to meet and spend quality time with our amazing affiliates. One of those amazing brands is our friends at Oceana Cruises, and we're excited for them to participate in the showcase. And we're excited for our featured guest that he'll be there as well, a meeting and chatting, updating those high-end sellers on the latest happenings with Oceana. And we're thrilled that we can kind of give you a little bit of a sneak peek today. So please help me welcome our returning Meet the Industry guest, Guillaume Cameron. Strategic Account Manager at Oceana Cruises. Guy, I'm so great to have you back for another visit to On Deck with Avoya, my friend. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, Guy, for those who may have missed your previous visit, can you give us a few details about you and your history in the travel business and what led you to your current position as the Strategic Account Manager with Oceana Cruises? <laughs> well, I don't know. Do we have a spare three or four hours here? It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Uh, well, to be honest, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are probably going to be sick to the eye teeth of seeing me. It seems like I've been doing so many events with the boy recently that, uh, yeah, it's just wall to wall Guillaume everywhere we go. But yeah, um, yeah, it's it's a kind of a bit of an interesting story. So originally I'm from, I'm from Scotland, obviously it's not a typical Vancouver accent that you're hearing here, uh, but I uh, actually used to work on cruise ships many years ago. Um, it's a good story. I uh, was actually a casino dealer on board, if you can I believe that. I uh, did that for a few years and uh, as part of that, I met my wife, who is from Canada, uh, on board, and, you know, we did a few contracts together, and um, we ended up, you know, doing our thing with ships. It's a bit of a young guy's game, so after a while, we decided, you know what, let's go back to Scotland for a few years, and um, when I was in Scotland, I, I ended up going in a sales position and was uh, doing okay, I ended up being like a... I was doing insurance sales, which is not the most glamorous of things, but, you know, it's a needs must. And, uh, you know, I ended up being like number one selling advisor in the UK for a few years with uh, that company. Uh, but in the meantime, my wife and I got married and, you know, plans, we planned out a few things and my wife's from Vancouver. And if many of you have visited there before, it's such a beautiful place that, you know, I was like, yeah, I can see myself here. So we decided to move over to Vancouver um, roughly about 15 years ago. And uh, as such, I was like, you know what, kind of done with sales. Um, you know, I'm not really in the sales anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm more than a look at a different career path. But all of a sudden, I ended up going into a travel agency and uh, ended up uh, being a selling advisor. And um, it was kind of funny because... The agency I was with was kind of very well known for um, doing a lot of different kind of sun and sand destination type vacations. And they were kind of well known for like these uh, discounted flights and things like that. 
And these guys just couldn't get a handle on me because they're like, how on earth is this guy hitting target after target by selling cruises? And, um, you know, I, I did that position for around about eight years. And, and in that eight years, um, kind of four years into it, I helped spearhead a, like a cruise brand because we were doing pretty well with the cruise side of things. Um, and yeah, that, I mean, that, that was a lot of fun during that time. And I, you know, I worked with quite a lot of our industry partners out there. And one of them I kind of hit off with was a, a, a good friend of mine and kind of a bit of an industry legend up here in Canada, a lady called Kathy Benroche. And, um, yeah, as part of that, um, <laughs> I, I, I ended up working for a pretty large online retailer doing a lot of training, uh, providing content for platforms that they were doing all around cruise. And I was doing a webinar with her one day and, uh, you know, there was a position that opened up in Canada and we had a little discussion about it. And I sold a fair bit of Oceana uh, back in the day and, uh it was a good fit. I was kind of a bit of a true believer in the brand. And uh, yeah, that was uh, five years ago. Um, and yeah, I ended up uh, applying for the position at Oceana. I probably went through one of the toughest interview processes that I've ever done. If any of you guys know uh, uh, Nikki Upshaw, uh, she, you know, everybody absolutely loves Nikki, but I tell you what, she can really drag you over the coals sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was <laughs> The things ended up being working out the way that they did. And uh, yeah, now I'm on the supplier side of things. So the one thing that I say is, you know, I've, I've been on the cruise side of things. I've been on the sales side of things. Now I'm on the supplier side of things. So, I mean, the last thing I, get, I guess I've got to do is like own a cruise line. So, you know, watch the space, guys, I guess. <laughs> back, back to the casino we go, it sounds yeah, like. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have to ask, though, what did you deal in the casino? Oh, uh, you know, I was a pretty good dealer. Uh, so, I, I, you, so any of you guys that are going to be on the casino night uh, for the multi-million dollar event there. Uh, yeah, I, I dealt all the games. I was like craps dealer, roulette, blackjack. So you, you name it, I used to deal it. So you doubled down once you met your wife, though. Good stuff. Yeah, that's Mark it. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gib, can you kind of walk us through what a typical day in your world looks like, the kind of interactions that you would have? with the travel industry and, and how that would include a voyage travel? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I, I like to work with a bit of a process myself. So, I mean, usually you guys have maybe seen an email come through for me in the morning um, saying, hey, thanks so much for making this option. Is there anything that we can help out uh, while you have this option on hold with your guests? Um, so I have a big report that I kind of worked through and I kind of want to touch base with all of our advisors in regards to any business opportunities they have. As part of that report as well, obviously I can identify a few things. So if all of a sudden you have five options on hold for one particular sailing, I kind of want to be in touch with you just to see if there's kind of any possibilities for groups um, or any, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to develop the business a little bit further. So um, that's kind of the opportunities that I'll uh, work throughout in the morning. Uh, another opportunity that I generally tend to work on as well is another email you probably see come through from me um, directly. And that is um, we have a, a quite a neat little system where if you have any of your guests and they come on to our website, and they decide to pinpoint a little cruise here or there. And they're like, you know what? This looks really interesting. I'm going to save that. I also get that information. And I'm able to contact you to be like, hey, listen, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, they were looking at Nanotica for next year. Um, just to let you know, um, this is what they've saved under their profile. And um, it might be worth just touching base to see what they're at. And here's their old booking number. So you can kind of have that little bit of touch point with them as well. Uh, and really, actually, with the boy advisors, this is probably one of the best little programs that we've got running at the minute. Um, you guys are really geared really well to kind of start those little conversations. From our side, we don't really know the why the guest is doing that. So that's why we want to loop you in to kind of get that overall why. You never know, they might just click the wrong button and so be it. But uh, <laughs> the other times, you know, it might lead on to a little bit of a sale for you. So it's a pretty decent opportunity in that. Uh, additionally to that, day to day, I mean, obviously, um, one thing that I always say is that, you know, if, if you're talking to one of our res advisors, and, you know, they, they've got their rules, it's black or it's white, 
Um, I'm the guy that kind of works in the gray. So if there's something that's not totally making sense to you or you're like, hey, well, no, hold on, that's, that, that should usually be like this, but why are you saying this? Um, look me back in. I'm kind of a bit of a problem solver. I'm here to kind of assist in, in that regard as well. Also, I'm here to assist, you know, any business opportunities that you may have as well. So if you, for example, you know, you have a great community that you're working with and all of a sudden you think, hey, you know, there's, uh, there's a great opportunity to be able to do a bit of a presentation. Please look me in. I mean, obviously, with the advent of Zoom, it's super easy in that regard, but we are able to do in-person events as well. Uh, definitely in the next year, for sure, that's something we're trying to explore a little bit more as we kind of want to provide more support for Avoya. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of it. Obviously, you know, I get some nice opportunities to visit you guys face to face uh, next week. We'll be on the beautiful uh, Princess Discovery and we'll be able to touch base with a whole bunch of you. Uh, I know I'm a, it seems like I'm a popular guy. Uh, I know there's so many of you that are kind of reaching out for dinners and lunches and things like that. So I am trying my absolute best, but please remember it's like one of me and 250 of you guys, but we'll, we'll do our best. We'll, we'll try and work through it. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. And, and for those that are in our network that are watching our program, all of this makes perfect sense. But for those that might be tuning in from outside of the Avoy network and just considering it, wow, their mind must just be blown that, that because some of the questions that we get sometimes are, do your agents really have real connections with the people at the vendors? And just hearing your explanation and everything that you do and go above and beyond for the Avoya network certainly should be able to put that question to rest uh, from here on out, I would say. For us, honestly, it, it really is about those personal connections. Um, at the end of the day, um, you know, being on ships itself, uh, it was one of the, the, the main things I wanted to bring to my own business, I guess, is that I wanted that level of service to, to be an extension from on board the ship. I mean, that's why so many guests come back to us again and again. Um, or just our crew are absolutely fantastic. So I, I kind of want to be that extension, but in a business sense, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it really is. And, and we're the kind of cruise line as well. Remember, we're smaller. We're, we're not as big as the big guys. We don't have two reps for every other city uh, like some of the larger lines out there do. Uh, but where we want to do the difference is that really, yeah, we want that personal touch. But we're also pretty clued in. We've got our heads screwed on right. And we want to create that business opportunity for you guys to 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 mold your business, essentially, to, to come in Oceana Cruises. So we're, we're here to assist in any way we can. You know, I try to stay up on all the latest happenings in the travel industry. And wow, so many amazing, new, exciting things happening with the Oceana brand. Guillaume, can you give us an update of all things Oceana as we head into the fourth quarter? Wow, hard to believe that already. I know, as we well, head into right? Q4 of 2023. Well, I know. I mean, 23 has been just such a crazy year for us. We've been so busy with all our new announcements. Uh, it really kicked off with the introduction of the Vista. Uh, we were, uh, you know, it, it feels like forever that we've been waiting for it, but really when it came out as its advent there back in the spring, um, it, it, it's kind of just, it's so great to have welcomed the Vista into our fleet. Um, the great thing is that we've been hearing absolutely fantastic. We're getting plaudits from the industry. We're getting plaudits from uh, the Avoya side of things. It, it's so fantastic that the ship is just really hitting home all the great details about Oceana that, that we do so well and we're, we're so unique as a brand. Um, so it's great to see the evolution of the brand itself that way. Additionally to that as well, you know, right here in the background, we're seeing her sister ship, the Oceana Vista, which we actually just opened up for bookings and she'll be debuting in 2025. Um, so it, it's a great thing that we're seeing all these guests planning further out ahead uh, and, and really looking at the Allura, the great thing is as well, you know, it's always a learning curve. So one of the things that we have at Oceana, we kind of live by a principle called Kaizen, which is a Japanese philosophy of small and gradual improvement. And even with the Vista just coming out in the spring, there's already a couple of things that we're already going to tweak that we're going to put onto the Allura that will be slightly different over and above the Vista itself. Um, so these learnings are fantastic, but 
the vista it, it just it looks absolutely fantastic um we're going to have the opportunity for some advisors to come and visit her uh down the line here as well um the guests on board are really saying just what a beautiful experience is, is on board and it's just the evolution of the brand so it is a such an exciting time for us in 2023 really and moving into 2024 We've got some great opportunities, uh, like currently, obviously, we've got the Allura opening up for those sailings at 25. Uh, right now, I mean, we're going to catch the last few days of our Labor Day promotion, so that's going to end in uh, October. But the next gearing up is that we're going to be launching the remaining 2025 um itineraries uh, on the rest of the fleet. So there's going to be a lot more space opening up. Uh, for you as an advisor, this is going to be a good time for you to kind of prep your, your guests to let them know, hey, listen, they're going to be launching a whole bunch of new itineraries. Usually what we tend to do is we'll, we'll give that information out uh, pretty much right now, actually. Uh, we'll give a week's preview. So it allows you to work with your guests uh, for a whole week to pinpoint the sailing, pinpoint the stateroom, and then we open it up to general sales as well. So that's usually our mindset and that's really what you want to pay attention to for quarter four well more likely not as well have another sale coming up for black friday like everybody uh, everybody usually does so there's some good opportunity as well especially for new to brand guests um those kind of flash promotions over the holidays they're great for bringing a new brand guest so that's another exciting thing that we're seeing we're seeing more new to brand guests this year than we have seen in other years before. So we do thank you for all that support and this, those suggestions. Well, congratulations to you and everybody at Oceana on a great launch with the Vista and all the exciting things coming up with the Allura. We certainly can't wait. Um, let me ask you, if you had a chance to talk to a travel advisor and, and maybe kind of go over a couple of tips, can you share with us here today, maybe a couple of tips on ways that an advisor could close more business with Oceana? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and all honestly, there's no silver bullet. So it is a little bit of work and a little bit of process. We're not expecting you to finish this call and then bang out 10 Oceana sailings. It's, you know, <laughs> in an ideal world, that's never going to happen. So it is a little bit of a process, but it is about planting the seed. So one thing that I always say is that we seem to be a marketing company that sells cruises on the side. If you guys have seen any of our um, marketing material, it's always fantastic. It always is real quality stuff. Um, and, and really that is there to plant the seed. We're, we're the type of company where we want to send out physical bits of paper or physical brochures. And because our guests are the type that will take that and they'll take it and they'll have a good read through of it in an afternoon. Um, one thing that I always say for tips and tricks, though, is that repetition is a bit of the key with Oceana. So it's great. You can put something out there and it might not stick. For us, as I say, we're, we're almost a marketing company that's selling cruises on the side. Even for us, it takes a few touch points before we even get that uh, guest to kind of stick with us. And that, at the end of the day, could just be an inquiry itself. So it is a little bit of a, a process, a rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. One thing that I do say, though, look at our itineraries. We have something like I, I really call it almost aspirational travel. If you're putting out news information or you're putting the post out on Facebook, why not slap a 87 day sailing out there? It really drops the jaws because we have some absolutely fantastic longer sailings and actually they've been more popular than ever before. And it's not that, again, it's not necessarily that you're going to bang five of those out because of that one post, but that guest sees that travel and sees that itinerary and is so impressed by it that maybe six months down the line, they're like, hey, you know what? Remember that 87 day sailing that you had up there? I don't have 87 days, but I've got 10 days. Is there something that we can work out that will be similar or a part or a portion of that sailing? So yeah, it's a little bit of a rinse and repeat with us and really try and lean on that aspirational side of things. Uh, again, share images of the Vista. It's it's so beautiful on board that, I mean, honestly, I think there's some a mountain missing in Italy because of the amount of marble that's on that ship itself. <laughs> and interestingly enough, Purely from the aesthetics of that ship, it's driving a slightly younger demographic to us as well. So 
bear that in mind too. You know, if you have that guest who's kind of in that mindset where they want, you know, fewer guests on board, they want that better level of cuisine, really, you know, that's where we're heading home. So hopefully some of those tips might kind of resonate with you guys. And um, yeah, that's kind of where I uh, maybe position it from Oceana's perspective for you. So tomorrow, Friday, the 22nd of September, it kicks off the very first Avoya Travel Million Dollar Showcase. Kim, why is it important for you as the strategic accounts manager to participate in that? And what advantage does that have for Oceana as a brand in interacting with the top producers from the Avoya network? So it's on a number of different levels here. So again, great to connect from that personal perspective. Uh, we want to learn more about your business and how we can fit into it. Now, again, there, it's different strokes for different folks. So we, you know, you never know. We might not fit in your, your ideal whatsoever, but we're here to discuss. And then all of a sudden, hey, you know what? No, I, I, there is that winery that I really like and I'd like to work with them and get a group on board with them. So there's these new ideas that you may not have thought of before. And having those personal interactions, that definitely does help from the Oceana perspective. From the Avoya perspective, we want you to learn a little bit more about us and learn where we can fit into your business overall. Um, and again, it's just making those personal connections. Um, you know, I, I've been on your side of the desk. I've, I've walked in a mile in your shoes. And yes, we can understand the day to day. And it is also great from your side to give us the feedback where you think we can potentially improve. I mean, one of the big things that we really feel that we have improved on and where we feel that we're getting even more traction with is with our newest offer, Simply More, where we replaced Olife uh, and now we're actually giving more inclusions back to you as the advisors. I know there's a few cruise lines out there at the moment that are dialing back those inclusions. Um, so it's great that we're actually, you know, unorganically, we just, we were wanting to give more inclusions back to our guests and provide that better bit value back to your guests. And essentially it is about trying to get that repeat clientele coming back to, to you. And we want to fit into that process as well. So, you know, having those discussions, maybe some of you don't like know simply more just as of yet. So it's that opportunity to have that conversation with us and kind of pinpoint what works with your business and how we try and fit it overall into that. There might be some clientele that you've got in mind at the minute. And you're like, hey, I wouldn't mind speaking to Guillaume or Joe. Joe will be with me as well. Uh, and Scott also will be with me as well. So you're going to get access to Scott, who's our VP of strategic accounts. He's on high level. So if there's something that you feel that's maybe not quite working, again, we all work in the gray. So we would love to take that uh, opportunity for that feedback and, and really work alongside you as business partners. Guillaume Cameron, strategic account manager at Oceana Cruises is our featured guest this week for On Deck with Avoya. Again, one of the audiences we target with our show is those that are new to the travel industry. So maybe take me back to when you were an advisor. And if you think you might have a piece of advice that you could offer up to somebody that's new to selling, uh, not only leisure travel, but just new to the business that might help them get up to speed so that one day they're in a position to offer luxury brands like you represent with Oceana. <laughs> So yeah, going back to pretty much one of my first days, interestingly enough, I'm going to be down in Seattle and my very first manager that I work with, I'm going to see her. Uh, so it's going to be great to see her. So it's kind of, it, it's a great segue here. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that she always told me, everything's fixable. If <laughs> the, We are here to help. Uh, if you do make that little bit of a boo-boo and we all do within that first year or first six months, we're here to help and assist in that way. So everything is fixable. And <laughs> that's probably one of my, and I really don't stress that. It's, it's a business where there's so much going on. There's factors out with of your control that you cannot, uh, and if you're thinking about trying to control everything, you, you kind of got to go with the flow. I mean, the only constant as an advisor or the only constant in the travel industry is change. It's, it's something new every single day. I mean, for example, today, Canadians can't go to India anymore. So, hey, we've got to figure out what's happening with all the Canadians that are on board our ships going to India. 
it might blow over. Hey, you know what? The Panama Canal is drying out right now. What? <laughs> like, you know, it's 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 always something crazy within this industry. But from my personal perspective, I always kind of enjoyed that challenge. It kept things going. And I tell you, it's a hell of a lot better than selling insurance policies. That's for sure. So, yeah. I love hearing that. What about you as a person when you get away from the office? What kind of exciting things do you like to do for fun? Oh, boy, that's a good question. Well, to be honest, I feel like uh, right now I'm uh, pretty much almost a full-time Uber driver, uh, getting my kids to and from sporting events right now. <laughs> so there's a lot of hockey, there's a lot of soccer going on. Uh, personally, yeah, I, I, you know, being from Scotland, I, I still love playing a bit of soccer. I've got my dad's league on, on a Thursday, actually tonight, um, that I, I love playing in. Um, I also, you know, I, being from Scotland as well, I, I, I do like my golf. Um, so I do uh, enjoy uh, having a bit of a round of golf every now and again. And, you know, being in the travel industry, travel's a passion for, you know, it's a shared passion for everybody. So discovering new places, uh, discovering new cuisines, uh, a little bit of the Oceana way, I guess, is kind of instilled into me. So I, I guess I keep uh, that passion going for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I love to travel to new different places and, and definitely meeting and connecting with new people as well. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a passion of mine too. I, I guess it's fair to say living in Vancouver, even if you are from Scotland, that you have to be excited. Let me get this out here really quick since it's <laughs> hockey season. But are you are you excited that hockey's about ready to kick off, Guillaume? Well, I think uh, yeah, both of us are excited here about the hockey season <laughs> kicking <laughs> off. So yeah, <laughs> that I've got the old school logo here for the Canucks. So yeah, um, I definitely yeah, it's uh, you know when in Rome, there's the Romans, right? So yeah, I've uh, I've, I've found a great passion for hockey uh so, uh for for my sins i'm now a canucks uh supporter and have to uh bear with the, the 10 years of misery at the minute that's for sure <laughs> well hopefully that cup comes back to canada at some point i mean to be honest with you even though you know we we trash talk a little bit and joke about our favorite teams i'd be happy to see it uh, head north of the border that's for sure well yeah <laughs> we live in hope right 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 Hey, so just a couple more before we wrap up today, but I did want to give you a chance to share anything that you think is vital about the Oceana brand that we haven't covered yet. Um, yeah, I mean, just really a lot of the time is about finding a niche and concentrating on that niche. If you feel that Oceana or if you feel another brand, I mean, there's enough business out there for everybody. Um, so it might not necessarily be Oceana, but we would love it if it was. But if you have a niche that you can really concentrate on and become that as, you know, product level expert, um, that is definitely going to help and assist you along the way in terms of selling more Oceana. Really, the guests that we have that are coming on board, one of the things that they covet is that level of service and that level of expertise. If somebody's going to be investing 40, 50, $60,000 into a cruise, they want to have that confidence that they're talking to somebody who knows exactly what's happening on the cruise line, how that process is going to work for them. So really you learning more about one niche of a brand assists you in, in becoming that product level expert, as I mentioned. So uh, that's definitely one of the things I, I would take. Uh, if you have a passion for the brand, uh, one thing that I do say is that we have a lot of true believers of Oceana uh, we would love you guys to become more true believers as well. Uh, and we welcome you guys to, to learn a little bit more. And, and we're here to support through that process as well. So I asked you this question as the final question, your first appearance, but I'm still asking the same question because I think it's important to drive the point home. But are you still excited, Gib, about the prospects for, for the future of both Oceana and leisure travel in general? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, actually, even just looking at a report uh, the other day, there's like a brand new airline that's working with electric uh, engines. Um, so it, uh, there's going to be that progression throughout the, the industry as a whole. Um, it's great to see new vessels come through the fold. Um, obviously, as we grow as a brand, that evolution is also going to continue. Uh, it's going to be organic from our side. Of, and, and the one thing with Oceana that personally I love is that 
we we work by that one philosophy it's your world your way we've had that one consistent message that we have had pretty much from day one um we we don't we're not that cruise line that's kind of trying to shift and change and trying to chase after different uh, demographics uh you know we're we're concentrated on who we are as a brand and to me that one true identity really has helped a lot of guests come on board with us and a lot of advisors increase their business through us because we have that consistency through the uh, through the brand um so yeah the future you know the future is bright we 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 really love you to continue on that journey with us Guillaume Cameron, everyone, Strategic Account Manager at Oceana Cruises. Guillaume, so great to catch up with you again. I hope you have a wonderful time at the Million Dollar Showcase and a great time at this year's Avoya Conference. Thanks I'm for joining really, us. Yeah, looking forward. I, I've got my lumberjack look already going on, so I have to win that competition. If it's, I don't even know if there's a competition, but I'm so committed to it. <laughs> my final That's calling. Awesome. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Next week, we're going to be off as the Avoy Conference will be taking up most of our staff's time, but we will be back in two weeks with an exciting show featuring Ryan Nicholson. I love that photo of Ryan. Graphic designer, video editor. He's on our creative services team. We look forward to welcoming Ryan to On Deck with Avoya and featuring his important role with Avoya Travel. So let's chat about promotions for a second because we have a couple of few important things to mention. One is our ongoing military promotion for those that are active duty or retired military and their spouses. And we're taking $100 off the affiliation price to join the network. I've said many times that those from the military make great small business owners in the travel industry. And we look forward to continuing this promotion as we move forward. Another great promotion, and wow, talk about a program that just is on fire, is our travel agent education powered by Avoya platform and the flash sale that they're having been extended. Look at that price point, only $3.99 for such amazing top-level travel education, and the results are speaking for themselves. That flash sale has been continued now through the end of the business day on October 1st. Don't miss out on that. It is the most economical way to get involved in this exciting industry, and all the details can be found, as always, at avoyanetwork.com. Once you make it through the education, if you're new to the travel industry, then you certainly uh, have an access to all of the great resources that are offered by Avoya Travel. Agent Power, our live leads, our turnkey marketing assets, everything from support. You can actually pick up the phone and reach somebody live seven days a week. It's all available to those that join the Avoya Network. Again, at avoyanetwork.com, you can get all the information on that. And of course, you can always just follow Avoya Travel and the Avoya Network uh, at our various social media platforms. Avoya Travel Network on social media. We're now on Instagram. How cool is that? So give us a follow there. All of our videos are always uploaded on YouTube. You can catch uh, Guillaume and I uh, on YouTube moving forward, probably for forever, I would guess, but we'll see how that works out. And of course, we always put them up on Facebook as well. And never miss a beat, LinkedIn, Facebook, the whole nine yards. Or if you're old fashioned and you just want to pick up the phone and give me a call, you can do that. Uh, my number's there on the screen, or you can send me a personal email. Always happy to interact that way. Chris.green at avoyatravel.com. But again, your best bet for a lot of information about considering the Avoya Network can be found at avoyanetwork.com. A big thank you to my featured guest this week, Guy and Cameron from Oceana Cruises. Thank you, Annabella, for doing a wonderful job in promoting and producing our segment today. Uh, thank you to everybody that tunes in on a weekly basis for On Deck with Avoya. We can't do the show without you. Again, we'll be back in two weeks. Until then, take care, my friends.